These are my top AI video enhancer tools right now. From color correction to AI upscaling and so much more, you'll learn how to enhance video quality with these AI tools quickly and easily. Now there's so many of these tools out there right now, so after spending so much time trying and testing all the top options, I'm gonna share my top three right now. Now there is a lot of overlap between these three tools, but I'd suggest that you watch this video through in its entirety so that you can see what's out there and see what's going to be the best fit for you. Some of these AI tools are free, some of them are paid, but with the paid ones, right now at least, you can still try them out, you can still generate previews to see how these will work with your videos. And don't worry, we've got links to everything we mentioned down in the description box below. So tool number one is one that we talk about quite a bit on the channel here, this is CapCut. It is not just an AI tool, it is a video editing tool that happens to have a bunch of AI functionality in there too. Now we actually have a dedicated video specifically on CapCut's AI functionality, but some of the standard out features for me are things like the built-in AI color grading or color correction. A lot of tools really don't get this right, but you'll see if we jump over to CapCut now, if we select a clip, we come over here to adjustment, then down here we've got auto adjust. And if I enable this here, and you can see the difference that this makes as I turn this on and off here just from one click of a button. Obviously from here, we can go even deeper and we can customize this look and feel and everything up with more pro tools as well. But I absolutely love how easy this makes color grading for a lot of people out there that don't wanna geek out. And if we come back over here to video, some other standout features for me are things like image enhancement. So if we've got low quality video, we can up res or upscale it in here. And it works pretty good. Not as good as some of the recommendations I've got coming up for you soon, but still does a decent job. And you can see as we scroll down here even more, we've got some other advanced AI functionality as well. Relight here will let you relight your scene. So we can essentially adjust the lighting here for different areas. So we've got facial lighting, ambient lighting, creative, and also presets. So if we go facial lighting here, you can see just by selecting these, we can add these lights here to our scene. And you can see when I move this around, it's affecting here in real time what this shot is looking like. And it's even adding darker areas up here as well, like shadows and things too. And obviously we can customize this up. We can change the colors of the lights, the positioning of them. But this is one of those cool features that allows you to get more creative, fix things in post, if you don't have the ability to get things right at the time of filming. There's also things like built-in background removal. So again, with our clips selected, we can come up here to cutout. And then we've got an option here for auto cutout. Now this is a free feature here in CapCut. You can see that straight away it's gone through, it's removed the background there for me, meaning then we can swap out and put another background in there. So let's for instance, just grab this clip here. Let's bring this one on top of it. We can see that that cutout has happened really, really quickly. Now, obviously with some of the pro features in here, we can dial this in even further. And there's even the ability in here now under this customized section where we can draw out the area that we want to track or cut out. So I could draw a little scribble here over me and we can then apply that and then we'll go through and analyze and track whatever it is that we'd selected there. So again, we're barely scratching the surface of all the tools that are in here, but a couple of other quick standouts for me, if we come over here to audio, and then we come down here to noise reduction and voice isolation, these two here do an amazing job at separating the background noise from your videos from anything that's been spoken. So just enabling here vocal isolation, you can see it's processing our clip. We can choose to keep the vocals, so someone speaking, and it's gonna remove everything everything else in the background. Or we can actually set this here to remove the vocals. So if you've got a music track where you've got someone singing, you can just have the singing piece or you can remove the singing to just have instrumentals. Or maybe you just wanna remove people speaking in the background of your videos. Then you can do that in here too. Or if you're recording videos where your audio isn't that good, there's also an enhanced voice feature in here as well, which it says will automatically remove echo, popping sounds, mouth clicks and other noises to enhance any voice voice to studio quality. Now I'll say that while these aren't perfect, they are absolutely amazing and can really help you get some great results and improve your videos very, very quickly and easily. Now there's also ultra smooth slow motion built into CapCut now as well, which will help you get some really amazing results and automatically generate extra frames and things to give you really smooth slow motion footage, even if you hadn't shot your original footage in slow motion. And again, this is something that works pretty well, probably not as well as the next options I've got. Now in terms of pricing, some of these features in here are free on the free version of CapCut, which will work on Mac, 
Windows. There's also an iOS and an Android version as well. But a lot of this functionality that I just showed you is now only available on the Pro plan, which is gonna start at $7.99 per month. But again, you can jump in, you can test this stuff out for free. The next AI video enhancer tool is HitPaw. This is another one that packs a punch. It's not full end-to-end -end video editing software like CapCut, but there's some really cool features in here. Now, HitPaw really has a big focus on enhancing and repairing your video footage. So some of the key features here are things like AI Restore, where you can repair your videos. So it'll allow you to fix glitches and artifacts and all those sorts of things that might be happening in your footage. You've also got things like AI Upscaling. So if you've got low quality video footage, you can up res it and make it better quality. Like you've even got an option here to go from 4K to 8K footage as well. So not just starting out with low quality footage, you could even be starting out with decent quality and then take it to 8K. There's also tools in here to help you remove noise and even sharpen up your videos too. They even have some cool examples on the website here of how you're able to colorize video footage as well. So if you're starting out with, they say older 1960s movie style content and it's black and white, then their upscale tool here can also add some colors back to that as well. So this is a tool that will work on Mac and Windows that you download and install on your computer. Again, there is a version that you can download to trial these things out for free. So you can see when you open it up, we've got in here the video enhancer. There's also AI background removal here. There's a magic sky feature here too. We're able to do a sky replacement. And then we've got our video repair functionality in here. And it's even got the ability to detect and repair your clips for you based on what it thinks might be wrong or areas it thinks needs improvement. We're gonna go ahead up here, open up video enhancer. I've got a test clip here that I'm gonna drop in. Now this clip was just shot with the webcam on my MacBook Pro. So it is uh, not great quality at all, but we can see the types of things that we can do in here. So straight out here, the first thing, face model, it's saying it's a model that is used for repairing portrait videos, clearly based on the facial features. So we have the ability in here to sharpen this up, to soften it if we'd like to. There's also a fast process mode here or to make this look a little bit better. But also before we apply any of this stuff, we can say to what level we want it to apply. As in our original footage here is 1080p, we can up res it at the same time to 4K, which is the default setting here. But I might choose to leave this here at 1080p and just process it that way to make it look better. And then with that set, we can then choose what it is we want to do. So we could remove some of the graininess in this. And then at any time we want to preview the difference, we can just enable here preview effect and it's going to give us a three second preview. I am on the free version here and that's going to then give us a short sample of the difference between them. Now it might not be coming through in the screen recording here but there is a big difference in the amount of grain or noise that was removed here. It's actually done a really good job. If we go back here you can see some of these other things that we can look at. So here we've got the colorize. So again black and white footage. We want to add some color. That tool is here. We've also got color enhancement here. Frame interpolation so smooth, slow motion. We've got AI stabilization, and we've also got low light enhancement here as well. And to apply these, we're really just picking the thing here that we want to apply. We're selecting the setting here from the presets. We can then preview the effect or the result here, and then we can export it once we're happy. Now you also have the ability to process batch or bulk lots of footage in here as well. So if you've got lots of clips you want to apply these things to, maybe up them to a different quality. I love that you don't have to do them one by one in here. So let's just preview this from 1080p footage to 4k footage we're going to sharpen this up using the sharpen model here and let's hit preview it's going to go ahead and do its thing and even while this is happening here we can see that it is a lot sharper maybe it's a little bit cartoony with these current settings but it's definitely a lot sharper a lot crisper than the original now in terms of pricing, obviously there is the free trial version that I had downloaded here. So you can jump in, you can have a play and see how this stuff can work with your footage. From there to unlock full functionality without the restrictions and everything, then you can either access this for one month at $69.99 currently, or you can access this for a year for $109.99. I know which one makes more sense here, but there's also the option to buy it outright here, one time price, 
349.99. So I guess if you're going to be using this a lot or you've got a bunch of footage that you wanna up res and make look good, then I'd say you'd be leaning at either one of these two options here. So that brings us to tool number three, which is Topaz Labs, specifically their video AI tool. And straight out before I dive into the features and things in here, I wanna say that this one is the most professional tool out of the three that I've shown you. In all of my testing, I've been able to get good results in all three of them, but it's always been Topaz that had the next level of detail, the next level of control. So for those of you that are looking for the best results and most amount of control, then this could be the one for you. And they've pretty much summed it up here. Cinematic superpowers, ultra smooth, sharp, and steady. So they've got things like their frame interpolation here, which is gonna allow you to generate super slow, slow motion footage without needing to have shot it in slow motion originally. So this is what you see when you open up the app. I'm running the Mac version here, but there's also a Windows version available too. We can just drag and drop or import all of our clips in here. And then over on the right hand side is where we can access all of the functionality here. So again, very similar sort of style. So you can see our original input file here, 1920 by 1080. We can choose what our output Output is. So if we just want to upscale it here, we've got a 2x upscale, a 4x upscale, we can go and pick a custom resolution. So even to up res this low quality 1080p footage to 4k, we would just select that here, we can then generate a preview. Again, I'm on the free version here, obviously, all this is unlocked in the paid one but we can hit preview. We can preview two seconds here of what that looks like. Again, I think this is awesome. That we get to test this stuff with our actual footage before we jump in and purchase. So we can see here the up res, it actually looks really good. Again, I hope this is coming through on the screen recording here. And we can actually play this too for that two seconds or we can scrub through frame by frame here to actually check this out, check the motion and everything. But hey, now my crappy front facing webcam footage is now up resed to 4K. Now, obviously this is with no extra processing here. So we could adjust the AI model here. So it's currently set to enhance, but we've got settings in here for things like face. We've got uh, denoise, upscale and high quality. We've got details and fidelity. Let's pick this one. And then obviously we've got further settings here. We can fix the compression. We can adjust the sharpness. We can reduce noise. We can add noise. We can fix focus. So if you've got something here that's slightly out of focus, we can adjust that here too. And it says here, this can help improve out of focus video footage and increase processing speed for high resolution inputs. So all of this here right now, we're just looking at under enhancement. And again, if we wanna preview these settings, we can just hit preview and that's going to generate a two second preview for us. And we can also see this build out over time as it goes through, analyzes and processes it. And again, if we compare this to the before and after, it really is like the next level of detail here in my beard. Even the motion, like this was a pretty low quality clip. It looks decent now. But if we go down here further, then we've got our frame interpolations. This is our slow motion settings in here. Again, we can go right up to 16 speed slow motion and we can dial it in even further. We've also got settings in here for stabilization, for motion de-blur, and also for grain as well. And we can actually turn on and apply multiple of these as we need it to correct our footage. And we have the ability up here to save our own custom presets. So if we're going to be applying the same settings over and over again, we can save that as a preset, but also we've got our presets up here as well for quick access to things that you might likely use. Now I've barely scratched the surface of what you can do in here in terms of the processing, in terms of your hardware setup and all of that stuff. But again, this is the most professional tool out of the three that I'm recommending. Now in terms of pricing, obviously there is the free trial, the demo software that I just showed you. But to purchase this, to unlock all the features, the functionality, and actually use this, then you'll need to purchase this outright for $299. But they say here that that includes two seats for this license. So you can actually install it on two different systems and for both Mac and Windows. And it also includes 12 months of upgrades. So those are my top recommended AI video enhancer tools right now. For those of you that want to dive in even deeper, check out the videos that are linked on screen. But also, as always, we've got a bunch of other resources and things down in the description box below. So definitely check that out. And let me know down in the comments, what's your top pick right now? And I'll see you in the next video.